Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for being here. My name is Rogelio Trevino. I am the Executive Director for Workforce Solutions for South Texas, and it's definitely a pleasure for me to welcome you here to our Workforce Center. Uh, we are Workforce Solutions for South Texas. Uh, our primary goal is to help uh, job seekers and employers come together and help our, our employers find a skilled and trained labor force to help our businesses and our economy grow in that hill. Today, it's uh, my pleasure to be here with uh, two fantastic partners uh, who actually started the Laredo Cares program. Uh, the city of Laredo, our mayor, Dr. Victor Trevino, and uh, the president of Laredo College, Dr. Minita Ramirez. Uh, it was the city of Laredo and Laredo College who originally came together to form the Laredo Carriage Program. And uh, the Laredo Carriage Project was actually created to assist individuals that were impacted by the coronavirus, uh, either uh, by affecting their jobs, affecting their businesses, uh, or their families' jobs or businesses. Uh, so Laredo Carers was created to assist them to get back into the labor force, to get back into jobs. Uh, then uh, we were very fortunate that Laredo College and the City of Laredo invited us, Workforce Solutions, to join them as a partner also for the Laredo Carers Project uh, to assist those individuals that were in the training programs, to assist them with support services while they're training, while they're attending training classes and getting ready for the jobs that they're preparing for. So again, as I, as I mentioned, today it's my pleasure to have both Dr. Trevino and Dr. Minita Ramirez with us here. Uh, what we are here to do today is to promote and to announce the uh, Laredo Cares Job Fair, the Spring Job Fair, which is being held uh, on April the 25th uh, from 10 to 2, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It will be held at the Laredo College Fort McIntosh campus at the Maria Maravillo Gym. Uh, and we are also already allowing individuals to pre-register for that uh, job fair. So we will have that information available. With that, it's my pleasure to uh, uh, introduce our partners, uh, to talk a little bit about their own involvement with the Laredo Cares Project. So I'd like to introduce uh, our mayor, Dr. Victor Trevino. On behalf of the city of Laredo, thank you Laredo College and Dr. Minita Ramirez and Work for Solution for hosting this event. And uh, also thanks uh, for having this press conference that is very important uh, to announce the upcoming Laredo Cares 3.0 Spring Job Fair. Today we're here to celebrate a true display of power of partnerships and collaboration. Now, the city of Laredo is also so thankful and proud to continue to support this, these historical pro uh, programs that change people's lives. The partnerships with Workforce Solutions and Laredo Colleges in creation with job programs are important to our community as we encourage people to develop their skills and seek certification programs so they can get good jobs and build from there. And more than anything, it's about providing opportunity and hope for our community, especially after we went through some very difficult time through a pandemic where people have lost so much. And I do look forward to building these type of programs so that all the Raiders have the opportunity to succeed. Now, this is a third rendition of the Laredo Cares pro uh, program since 2020. And the initial program was created during the pandemic with collaboration with stakeholders identified as an immense need to support businesses who were struggling to remain open. Now, since 2020, the city of Laredo has committed and invested up to $2.6 million into workforce skills and development and uh, training certification. The Laredo Cares 3.0 program has been made possible by leveraging federal ARPA funds combined with a financial commitment from Laredo College and a program support services from Laredo Workforce Solutions. The City of Laredo will be assisting 
the upcoming spring job fair by hosting a hiring booth sponsored by the City of Laredo Human Resources Department, as well as offering community support programs such as WIC, Autism, Autism Surveillance, and Immunization sponsored by the City of Laredo Health Department. And once again, thank you. And with that, I will pass the microphone to Dr. Benita from Laredo College. Thank you. And, and thank you, Mayor. Uh, always a pleasure. And, and, and Rogelio, thank you for hosting us today. Uh, I think that while we're, well, this is the true power of partnership, as the mayor said, um, we are also, in that partnership, there's a huge commitment. A huge commitment from all of you that are here. We know that's why you're sitting here, because you're committed to making Laredo a better place to live and a better place to learn. And together, in that power of partnership, we certainly come together with initiatives and new programs and, and expanding current programs to continue to expand what we offer, not only our current students, but our future students. And so ideally, we want to welcome people back, because we may have, you may have been in our community or a continuing education program once before, and are now thinking of reskilling or retooling. Or you may want to just, now that you have finished a, a training program with us, find a place to actually hang your hat and continue an education or continue a, a, your, your chosen field or profession. And so how you do that, we want to be a part of that. Us three, and I say us three, are, are, this partnership is committed to making your career path a stronger one, a more efficient one, and certainly a more profitable one. And how we work together is crucial and critical, and so we want to thank the city for their continued support of the CARES program. We want to thank Workforce Solutions of, of te South Texas to helping us uh, organize and certainly find those most uh, desired professions or, or partnerships that are what our people need and want. And working with Ms. Sandra Cortez and her team, our provost, Dr. Maricela Tijerina, in making sure that we have what all of our community wants and what we need. As we grow as a community, as we develop, uh, you may need support. You may need support in writing a resume or practicing your skills for an, uh, an interview. And so our Workforce Development Center, head by Ms. Denise Flores, uh, who's also here today, will help you find that pathway and then help you adjust and put you in the right programs or courses that we're offering through our programming. The leadership that we have is second to none. And I'm certain that they will find every single one of our community folks who are interested in pursuing either a career or finding a job. Estamos aquí para servir, estamos para ayudarle a la comunidad en seguir, darle ese seguimiento no nomás a la educación, para el trabajo, para hacer Laredo mejor para todos nosotros, para hacer los dos Laredos mejor, para todos nosotros que siga nuestra comunidad desarrollándose y prosperando. Así es que muchísimas gracias, gracias Mayor, a, a Mr. Treveño y a todos ustedes que están aquí Ustedes en la prensa son muy principales a lo, a lo que vamos a seguir haciendo. Porque ustedes son nuestra voz para darle este mensaje a la comunidad que nos vengan a ver. Que nos vengan a, 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 a aportar en dándoles ese, esa educación necesitada para que salgan adelante. Así es que juntos hacemos más. Thank you all very much. We appreciate the partnership and certainly look forward to serving all of you and to welcoming you all to the Laredo College Fort McIntosh campus, the Maravillo Gym, on the 25th of April from 10 to 2. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor and Dr. Ramirez. Uh, yeah, just a little bit more background on uh, you know, when the uh, pandemic hit, the Laredo labor force was at about 117,000. 
Uh, during the pandemic, the, the labor force dropped to about 113, 114,000. Many people, over you know, several thousand, were impacted and actually left the labor force. Little by little, we see that labor force growing right back now. We're almost at pre-pandemic levels. Uh, we're back to an unemployment at 4% or a little bit below, which is what we were before the pandemic. So we do see, we are seeing the labor force come back. We are seeing people come into the labor force and looking for work. So this project continues to offer those resources to help these individuals that are looking to get back into jobs after being impacted and affected by the pandemic. Uh, as a workforce board, we are very uh, proud to be able to assist with support services to those individuals. We have many of those individuals who have young children that are not school age yet, children that are still at home. So we can assist them with child care support while they're in training or while they're actually going into their jobs. We can also assist them with transportation and we can supply tools and uh, uniforms and equipment that they need while they're in the training program. So uh, all those resources are being used to partner uh, and, and part of this alliance that we have with, uh, with the college and with the city. I do want to recognize the individuals that, that help us operate and, and run these programs. We have Ms. Patricia Barrera, who is the director of our Workforce Center here. <laughs> uh, we also have Ms. Uh, Sandra Barrera, who is our deputy director, and Ms. Uh, Berta Mian, who is our Workforce Supervisor. So uh, we, uh, at this time, we already have uh, approximately 40 uh, employers uh, and service providers that will be participating in the Spring Job Fair. I won't read you the whole list, but we will provide it to the media so that you can have that. But we have a full array of employers that represent all the different growth industries here in Laredo and in South Texas. Uh, so we're very excited about this job fair because these employers are ready to hire. As I mentioned, our unemployment rate is at 4%, but we still have jobs, and we still have people that are looking for work uh, that came through these programs, uh, so we are ready to assist them. Uh, with that, at this time, we can open it up to the media if you have any questions, but we do definitely appreciate our media partners for being here and for helping us to promote uh, the uh, spring job fair. Uh, do we have any questions at this time? Or? If not, I guess in at that we will terminate or, or uh, close out this part of, of the of the press conference, and we will uh, leave it open to those uh, media partners that want to conduct interviews. So again, thank you so much to our partners. Thank you to all of you that were here this morning, and we look forward to this job fair on April the 25th at 10 a.m. at the Laredo College, Fort McIntosh Campus, Maravillo Gym. And again, we're already assisting individuals to register for the job fair. So thank you very much.